continuing on with the user interface controls you can see that I'm working in the drawing screen typically I will be drawing just in the plan view just but for demonstration purposes I have this separate viewport up and how I did that is on this view tab I have some named views and I could set those up to be two or three and so from here I set up a two vertical but if I wanted to join those two I have a control where I can join this one to that one and I'll actually come back into a plan view you can see I'm working in this drawing view I can minimize it I can expand it I can I have this other one here I can minimize that I can expand it I have layout controls here you'll also see that I have a coordinate system here in the corner showing me what the y direction is and the x direction I have some status tools here these first three are a set of annotation scale controls here this is an important one this is our display configuration I can change how things look say if I want to look at it as an electrical first floor turns all those walls green and typically we'll be working in the work display configuration the cut plane we won't have to deal with that very much and there's a couple other controls here ones that show the surface hatch toggle isolate tool and a little validator of the drawing down here is the command line if we decide to type in any commands or a command prompts you it will actually come up here in the command line we have our coordinate system down here if I move my mouse around you can see that that coordinate system shifts to what the appropriate drawing is and we have our drafting controls snap oh snap uh, orthos dynamic input I suggest you turn that off it gets a little slow in drafting if that's turned on and we have a dynamic input and we'll keep that on for now we also have some other tools that can switch between layout space or model space we have a workplace setting uh, this is a couple of years old but if we decide to select that we can change it to a different view like the vision rest toolbars if I select that it will actually change my entire workspace it will bring up uh, older toolbars just in case you're used to using toolbars instead of the ribbon but if I switch back to vision res it will change me back to my workspace setting and bring back my ribbon and where my tool palette is docked and just in case you uh, use that if I select this workplace settings it's usually wise to check this automatically save workspace changes just so when you're flipping back and forth between workspaces it actually remembers what workspace had uh, where your windows were and we also have a tool to lock our uh, positions of windows and toolbars and we also have a current elevation it's zero right now if I change to my second floor if I go to my WD2 it uses the VAR manager that we showed off before and it sets it to a current elevation of 10 foot 1 and we have the ability to lock that Z by, with this button right here